All human beings wake up five or six times every single night as they move through the cycles of sleep. What happens typically is you get in bed with your pillow and your blanket and you're very cozy. An hour or so later you may wake up. You'll move a pillow, pull up your blanket. You may not even remember waking up and you'll go back to sleep. But what would happen during that cycle change if you woke up and found yourself on the kitchen floor? You would be startled. How did I get here? Where am I? You'd probably wake up fully and wouldn't be able to go back to sleep until you went back up to your cozy bed with your pillow and your blanket and fell back to sleep. This is exactly what happens with babies who wake up frequently through the night and need your help. Your baby has an association with the way he falls asleep, whether it's breastfeeding, bottle feeding, using a pacifier, being rocked, padded, or bounced on an exercise ball. Whatever that association is, that's how your baby falls asleep. He thinks he needs that in order to sleep. So every time he wakes through his sleep cycles during the night, he needs you to come and recreate that association so he can fall back to sleep. So what we'll need to do is identify your baby's sleep associations, what exactly are the steps and things that you must do for your baby to fall asleep, and slowly and gradually step back on those things that you're doing until your baby's able to fall asleep on his own. So the reality is your baby cannot sleep all night without waking up. What we want to do is help him be able to fall back to sleep on his own each time he does wake up.